I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Yesterday I was reading some of the comments and uh, one of the videos about the naked man who jumped into the moat at the Imperial Palace. There were quite a few comments in English by non-native English speakers and one of them said something like this. The man threw rocks to the police. What do you think is wrong with that sentence? It should be the man threw rocks at the police. If you throw something to someone, then you want them to catch it, like a ball or a pen or a lollipop or whatever it is that you throw to people. Sam threw the ball to Tom. But if you throw something at someone, then you don't want them to catch it. You usually want to hurt them. Sam threw rotten tomatoes at Tom. Tom threw a grenade at Sam. Today I recommend this site. There are a whole lot of interesting materials for teachers and students there, and it's all free, thanks to taxpayers in the UK. I was having another look at it today, and I found a football quiz, which I thought was quite cool. You can score a goal if you get three questions right within 30 seconds. I'll put a link to that quiz on the blog. Kia ora, Instic News today. There's a banana boom in Japan. In an effort to lose weight, thousands of people across the country have ditched rice and miso soup in favour of bananas for breakfast. Back in 2006, a couple introduced the Asa Banana Dieto on the social networking site Mixi. The Watanabes said you could lose weight by eating a banana and drinking water for breakfast. Since then, the diet has been featured in magazines and in May this year, the couple published a book which has sold more than 200,000 copies. Mino Monta is a TV celebrity who is very popular with housewives. He's talked about the diet three times on his show. Then, on the 19th of September, the diet was introduced on another popular TV show. They said that a former opera singer had lost seven kilos thanks to the banana diet. This caused the banana boom to really take off. Supermarket chain Ito Yokado said they sold twice as many bananas as usual in late September. A spokesperson from another supermarket chain said bananas had been selling very well since the 19th of September. These days, bananas are all gone by evening, he said. Most of Japan's bananas come from the Philippines. Dole Japan is the country's largest banana importer. A spokesperson said, unfortunately, even if there is more demand, we cannot supply more bananas immediately because it takes 10 to 15 months to grow them. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 8th of October. Kia ora. Today's word is ology. Well, that's not actually a word, but it's a suffix which is part of a word. This Monday's guest, John, said that he studied criminology at university. Criminology is the study of crime and criminals. Ology, in this sense, means a subject of study. Another example is biology, the study of life. Wikipedia has a whole list of sciences ending in ology. Half of them I'd never heard of, like futurology, ripperology, garbology, musicology, dendrology, omnology. If you feel like making up a new word to mean the scientific study of something, you can just add ology to the end of it, like the Daily English Show ology. Or maybe it would be better a bit shorter. That guy is lucky to be alive. If it was another country, he would have been killed. If a naked guy ran into the White House, they'd probably shoot him. It's so disrespectful doing that at the palace. What's going to happen to him? Sent back to Spain? 
Attacking police officers is a pretty serious crime though. I don't know. I think police usually don't shoot people if they can help it. Hmm, I don't think so. If they thought they could grab him and arrest him, then I think they'd do that. Yeah. It sounded like it might have been kind of a prank, just reading the story and looking at the pictures. But when you see the footage, I think it's obvious that He's not mentally stable, or he wasn't at the time, so it's kind of sad. I guess he'll be deported. Mm, no, England. I think he's actually British. At first the media was saying that he was Spanish, but I think it turned out that he was an English guy living in Spain. Yeah, and doing that at the palace is pretty bad too, because it's a kind of sacred place, so maybe he'll get a prison sentence. Futurology is the study of A. Everything. B. The future. C. Jack the Ripper. D. Rubbish. E. Trees. The future. Dendrology is the study of trees. Garbology is the study of rubbish. Omnology is the study of everything. Ripperology is the study of Jack the Ripper. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye. No violence, no violence, no violence, no violence. Son Lady Fancy, son.